Drew mentioned it in passing that you know these ideas have been around for a decade or more, right? So why why now? Why did this proposal come up now? Is it is it a matter of cost? Did something happen with the science that suddenly you're able to do it? Why? I mean, we have this um, this one project that I know of, and you can fill me in on others, but uh, to, to synthesize the yeast genome, which is maybe you can explain what the yeast genome is because it's, mm. it's 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 much smaller or less complicated than the human genome. And that's as far as I understand we've gotten. So why now? Why, are you, why do you think this is the right time for this? Well, it's kind of like, you know, why did we start the Human Genome Read Project in 1984, or the Brain Initiative, or the National Microbiome Initiative, and so forth, all these initiatives. Part of it is we have, Washington has Initiative fever is one thing. Mm -hmm. Another thing is we do have at least three big projects where we're getting momentum on s synthesizing whole genomes. One was the one you mentioned in yeast, which is about 300 times smaller than uh, human, which just to put that in perspective, uh, we're seeing exponential improvements in technology which are on the order of 3 million fold. So 300 fold is not asking for much. Uh, used to be but not so much anymore. So as part of it is this realization of these exponentials. And to some extent, you want to get ahead of it, just as Drew is saying. We want to anticipate the next few moves. We want to assume that X is going to succeed, and then where do we go next? And so if, if anything, we were taking too small a step, Drew was taking the correct longer step to think, to think it through before we make some irreversible mistake. I completely agree with what he's saying there. And so that's... There isn't a, a rush, per se. You know, it's not like we're um, dealing with Zika virus or something like that. We're dealing with uh, uh, a, an exponential. It's a steady exponential, but it's very, very fast. It's faster than electronics. So anyway, the three, pro three projects are the yeast project and then uh, two bacterial projects, which are uh, a little bit smaller. But, but all, some of them are moving to fairly radical changes in, in the genome, not just making a copy of it. Okay.